Hey guys, welcome back to the Semi Plum Bob channel, and today we're gonna play more of The Sims 4 Werewolves. Okay, so as you can quite possibly tell, we're gonna start this video just a little bit different. Um, we're gonna start with a speed build of Dashiana's new home. So as you can tell, I just bulldozed the whole lot. Thank you, James Turner, for building it. It was magnificent, but I kind of wanted her to be more outdoor doorsy instead of just in your uh, shack there so um, as you can quite possibly tell in this uh, for some reason Rory is hanging out in our house once again I don't know what it is about her I mean we got on her nerves she seems like we don't want us to she doesn't want us to be around you know we get on her nerves she doesn't want us to be around her as much and then she just keeps coming and snooping in her house for some reason it's just very strange very strange I don't know really what to make of it maybe in the future we should investigate that and see why the hell are you trying to get me to join your pack but at the same time don't like me I don't know um that's the kind of vibes I'm getting um, I've thought about it um, a lot since I've been playing The Sims 4 Werewolves and um, yeah uh, I just I don't know if she ever will join the Wild Fangs now um, now that we've seen how she treated um, her love interest uh, Lou uh, we didn't really appreciate that very much and it can't really tick, uh, tick Dashiana off not gonna lie she's not very happy with with her at this point um <laughs> after she's seen how she just treated her uh good friend there but anyways yeah i decided to go ahead and build her a new plot of a uh, new plot to live on or a new um look on her plot of land that she has so she has like a little bitty hut it doesn't really have much in there it just has like uh the um bookshelf and things where somewhere to sit and just cool off during the winter or whatever or whatnot but I really wanted it to look like scratched up run down nothing too fancy nothing too um flashy I would say it's just more grunge and more like uh fixed up to be used rather than something brand new you know so that's the kind of look I was going for in this speed build here and um I actually quite like what I did with her plot of land I am super super excited to be playing this werewolves pack I really love the story so far what do you think about the story so far do you like the aspect of her having uh sisters and then she's a triplet and they all are part of a different occult I just really wanted to see how you know um how they treat each other now that they're all three different occults and how they can you know become their best selves and their own occults and stuff I thought, I thought it was pretty pretty cool I had so much fun playing the vampire and the spell casters um, and living them up and without cheats by the way I just played the game until the Sims 4 werewolves came out and it was a blast uh, I love the storyline that I've made so far and I cannot wait to add more to Dashiana's story I, I can't wait to see uh, what her future holds when it comes to this to when it comes to this werewolf pack uh, so yeah um, I really wanted to use some of the moonlight stuff that actually came uh, right before the Sims 4 werewolves uh, so yeah uh, as you can tell we have a couple of the uh, uh, stuff from the kits um, in the build as well so while I was building this little hut I decided that I really wanted to add a basement in there like a secret basement for just for Dashiana so that she could like fast travel to her house or whatnot that's the main goal there so I decided to get rid of some of that stuff from the moon kit or the moon campers kit whatever you call it uh, um, so so just so we could add like that teleporter uh, thing in the basement so that she could have another way to get home I suppose I hope it works that way but we shall see <laughs> uh, so yeah I thought that was a really cool idea and uh, yeah I just really wanted it to 
you know, um, match the aesthetic of the game pack. And I think I did a pretty good job on it. And I really like the way it looks. So yeah, this is the Sims 4 speed build of Dashiana's new home. And yeah, we're about to jump into the gameplay of The Sims 4 Werewolves pretty shortly. As you guys could probably tell, um, we have actually redone her whole home here and made it more fit for her needs and my idea of a good home for her as a werewolf. So, yeah, I had so much fun, um, bulldozing it and building it as my own and we used the money that we did have so hopefully we can find the means of making more money and hopefully our bills won't be so high because of that but anyways i think it's about time that we return to normal and i kind of want to put her into Cass and uh edit her uh, werewolf form um it looks like rory is in our house again and i'm trying to figure out what she's doing why does she keep coming over our house and uh looking through our stuff and things like that it's just very weird that she just keeps coming over oh she's she's actually digging in our lot now um <clears throat> hey uh what are you doing? Why are you digging in my lot? What are you even doing here? She's very, Corba. very tense. It's like, I don't get it. What, what's what's going on? She's like, okay, look. I am feeling tense and kind of... Kind of, um... Guilty. It's like, tense and kind of guilty. And she's like, yeah, I mean... I must have did something to make you not join the Wild Fangs. I thought for sure you were going to join it with us, but you didn't. You decided to be a lone wolf, so I thought I would come over and talk to you about it and see if I can't um, persuade you to join. It's like, well, I mean, I heard what you said. I know I get on your nerves because I am still brand new at this werewolf thing. I just thought that maybe if I learned on my own, we could actually start being friends, you know, Rory? And, you know, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just going to... Just be me, you know? If I wasn't a werewolf, I think I'd want to be a mermaid. Surprised? Eh, don't be. They also have a connection to the moon, you know? With the tides and all that. Did you know mermaids can stay out of the water longer during a full moon? Uh -huh. uh, oh, um, uh. no, I, no, I didn't. <laughs> that, that's a very, um, interesting, Rory. We're gonna debate treachery of vampires. Apparently, vampires and werewolves don't have a good lore background but what i want to do is i want to edit her werewolf form and how you do that is you got to go into create a sim and whatnot so what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to go to the bar and see if they actually have a mirror and we're going to edit her look here and plus this will be the first time that we come to the bar okay so what are you embarrassed about socially awkward sims who are loners have a tough time being so Social, any awkward situation is enough to embarrass them. Yeah, so she is kind of embarrassed because she was like, Oh, I didn't know you wanted me to be part of the Wild Fangs. I, I thought I would be a loner. Eey, I'm embarrassed now for thinking about that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so, oh, happy hour drink. Celine Lopez. So let's uh, sniff and introduce. Really? We, could, we should probably sniff and introduce, I guess. So let's actually um, ask for werewolf uh, sympathy. Oh. 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 Um, okay. Did sympathy denied from lack of sympathy. Maybe someday society will accept us. 
Okay, Salim. Uh, I guess I'm done talking to y'all. I'm just going to drink my drink and enjoy my sweet and spicy here. Um, I am not going to um, <laughs> chat with y'all anymore since y'all don't like freaking werewolves for some reason. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh! Look, they got a secret thing! Wolf Graffiti Industrial Door. Only werewolves can use this door. I'm a werewolf! Can we use it? Can we use it? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Let's go use that door! There's a secret door to go somewhere. Oh. What are you scared of, Justin? It looks like we finally have a mirror down here. Let's come down here, change Sim, and get her werewolf form the way we want it. <laughs> oh! Alrighty then. <laughs> Let's give her the female walk. Oh! Well, I'm glad you're having fun there, Dashiana. <laughs> But it looks like this is what the symbol looks like in Create a Sim. And uh, let's go ahead and go into her wearable form. Ow! <gasps> oh wow, that's so pretty. They actually put a sparkling moon behind your sim during Create a Sim. <gasps> I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's actually uh, go ahead oh. and take the time to make the sim the way I want it. And it may take uh -huh. me a little while since we can do paint mode just like we can with the cats and dogs. So, yeah, give me just a few mementos uh. and we shall be done sprucing up Dashiana. All right, you guys. Well, this is Dashiana Moonstreet. So this is what she ended up looking like. Okie dokie, artichokey. Um, what are you wearing? Why are you wearing that instead of your normal clothes? <gasps> I just realized I might have changed her clothes. She's probably gonna wear the exact same clothes as she um, would originally wear in her... Um, 
Yeah, yeah, it changed all her clothes. Whoops. Oh, well, I guess we'll live with it. Oh, well, uh, I'm not going to stress over it that much. I think it's fine. Uh, she could wear what she's wearing now. Now that she's a werewolf, she has to look just a little bit different, I think. But anyways, um, what's the matter here? Okay, okay, she's she's doing good. But this is pretty cool. They got a cool little hangout for the werewolves and whatnot. That is that is super duper awesome. I like this little hangout that they have. Unfortunately, there is no uh, Sims here. But oh, look, they actually have this underground tunnel thing that we have at our house. So why don't we actually explore the underground tunnels now that we're a werewolf and see if we can't get any other um, opportunities underground and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. A lonely howl. A lonely howl echoes through the underground bouncing off the tunnel walls in every direction let's howl back guess why not <laughs> Ooh. a moment shared after hearing the lone howl dashiana boldly answers in kind a howl echoes back a moment later and the two howlers separated by distance but together in spirit share a beautiful moment okay Oh, okay. Diverging paths. As Dasiana crawls under a particularly low stretch, she notices that the tunnel splits into three paths up ahead. From one path comes a faint but magical sounding melody. Down another, the lingering scent of garlic. Ooh. And down the third, a welcoming bit of fresh air on the breeze. Ooh, follow the magical melody, head towards the garlic, or find the fresh air. Um, that is so cool. They incorporated, uh, spellcasters who wear, uh, spellcasters of vampires and do this. Uh, let's go toward the fresh air. Why not? All right. The afterlife can be tough. Come tell the local bartender all about it. Enjoy some discounted lib libations. It's ghost night. Oh, okay. Leaving the underground. Dasiana eventually reaches what seems to be the end of the tunnel. There she finds a ladder leading upward with light spilling into the tunnel from above. As she climbs, the echo of her feet on the ladder's rungs gets louder and louder until Dashiana emerges in a blue plastic box. Oh wait, it's a porta potty. Oh my gosh. You found your way to a porta potty? <laughs> She's like, on an adventure. She's like, okay. Well, that was fun. We um, found the porta potty place, which we already knew about the porta potty. So, mm, travel to the sparring grounds portal potties. Dasiana isn't familiar enough with underground tunnels. She hasn't found it yet, but it said she found it though. All right, maybe if we change into our werewolf form, Maybe we could get lucky and find it. Oh, look at her in the flesh. I love the way she looks. You look so cool. All right. Let's go ahead and explore it again while you're in your uh, werewolf form. Ouch. It's kind of tight, but Dashiana just needs to squeeze through. Ouch. Dashiana just took a face full of metal from a jutting pipe that was impossible to see in the dark. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Diverging paths as Dashiana crawls under a particularly low stretch. Let's go toward the magical melody this time and see what happens. Oh boy. Frog City. Somewhere ahead, the repetitive creak of meadow echoes towards Dashiana, followed by a slish slosh of water. As it repeats, Dashiana begins to speculate that it might be a water pump. When she stumbles into a room filled with frogs, it's almost a proper frog city. There aren't just the common kind either. Someone's been breeding them. Well, at least the frogs seem happy down here. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, the sounds are creepy. An enchanted room. The enchanting music fades as Dashiana comes to a large round room with an expansive relief carved into the wall. Embedded, glowing, circulating crystals give off enough light to make out the story within. The artwork depicts a magical conflict between two sides, with some favoring plasma 
and others who drew power from the moon. Oh, ooh, some lore. Oh my goodness. Leaving the underground, Dashia can make out some light ahead. It must be an exit. All right. Ooh, battered and bruised. Ouch, Dashiana got hurt badly recently and are feeling a bit sorry for themselves. Let's actually go ahead and um, make our way to the library. Now that that's got me intrigued with some lore here, let's see if we can't actually read a couple of books and decipher what it's supposed to be telling us. Hmm? Werewolf who came in from the cold. Let's see if we can't decipher some things from it. Detective Wolf was always a mystery to those closest to him, and at times even to himself. Perhaps that's why he was so drawn by those unsolvable mysteries. Why he always felt like a lone wolf hunting for answers. But he had yet to solve the greatest mystery of all. Mm. Who was he? A howl echoed through the alleys. In a second, Dolph was down on all fours and gave chase. The moon, his sole companion, gleaming off his fangs, giving speed to his legs. Like a snake, the alleys seemed to coil and cross over one another until his head felt as hazy as the local nightclub Dolph would retreat to when it all ha got to be too much. Suddenly, there was a dumpster in front of him, something atop, it glittering in the moonlight. For some unknown reason, Detective Dolph felt drawn to it. He edged closer until he came upon the shattered mirror, reflecting back a man he did not know. Himself. Ooh. The pack was abuzz with anticipation. The new wolf in town was intent on challenging the Alpha. Were he to win? Oh, were he to win? What would that mean for her? For them? Mm. Ginger couldn't help but stare out her kitchen window. He was outside again, mowing the lawn, like he did every day at exactly 3.04 p.m. Shirtless. <laughs> it was especially hot today, and the sweat beat headed on his neck and shoulders, each bed slowly roll oh each bead slowly rolling down his body, tracing the contours of each muscle. Her throat felt dry and the wolf inside her steered, begging her to go out and meet him. Oh my goodness. This one's spicy. Lunar Epiphany unlocked. Deshiana can now start to decipher the strange markings found in the margins of werewolf books. What new knowledge is out there waiting to be discovered? Let's actually go ahead and uh, go hunt for some food because we are hungry. Heck yeah. Dashiana has returned with some fresh meat she uh, found. Her fury is getting high though. Her fury is going up though. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should um, return back to normal. Oh my gosh. She's getting... Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we scared somebody. She's like, oh. Okay, hi, I'm back. Dashiana gaze slides from writing in the book to magical moon glyphs around the edge of the page. The symbols speak of control, of freeing yourself from the binges of rage so that you might live in harmony with your inner wolf. Yeah, she's having a little trouble trying to live in harmony. Her fury is going up little by little here. Oh, this poor baby's sick. We need to figure out how to control her fury because that is, that is something. That is so something. We need to figure it out. Oh, somber howl. Learn a howl that reduces fury. Okay, so let's do a somber howl because we need help with our fury here. So basically what I got is the somber howl. Learn a howl that reduces fury. Being a werewolf is hard and sometimes Dashiana has just got to speak her truth. She'll be able to release a somber howl from time to time to calm down and reduce her fury. All right, so let's werewolf do a somber howl. Help your fury out a little bit. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that going all the way back down. You feel better? She feels better. She's like, okay, I just howled and now 
Ah, I'm starting to learn a little bit. All right, so what we want to do is we want to level up to Apex, reach the final tier of werewolf progression to truly master the werewolf lifestyle. So we have just a uh, few more to go. We're about to hit Prime, and then we got to hit Veteran, and then we get to hit Apex. We need to unleash the beast. Time for Dashiana to bear those fangs and claws, channeling her inner beast. To accomplish this, she can smash or scratch objects around her. Or she can try snarling, ferociously intimidating, or viciously owling at other sims. We need to unleash the beast 25 times. So that means we need to uh, smash or scratch objects around her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't know I had to do that. Okay, well let's transform and see if we can't unleash the beast. Ha 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 ha. Tier 3 Prime. Dashiana is now a prime werewolf. Being a werewolf gets easier by the day. The Sim has a new temperament that affects how she navigates the world and what causes fury to bubble over. Make sure to check out the new abilities too. Alright, so what did we get? We got Wolf Brain. These Sims have trouble with the intellectual or logical pursuits when their wolf brain is constantly calling. Ooh, okay. So anything logical is... Um, Anything logical, it would just bring her fury up just a little bit more. <laughs> Although Dashiana feels a little calmer, she can't help but to feel a little sad after that howl. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Dashiana. We're just going to come over here and uh, scratch a couple things. Try to uh, get Unleash the Beast going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Can we... No, we can't scratch the same thing. Okay, so let's come down here and scratch, scratch, scratch. Let's go scratch those few things. We can go ahead and get some of this Unleash the Beast out of the way. Oh, her fury is starting to get high, though, by doing that. But it's okay. We are wanting to get some stuff going on and getting some stuff done. Um, we're going to scratch, scratch. Why not scratch other people's furniture instead of our own? <laughs> scratch. Let's go upstairs and scratch a couple things. We're going to unleash this fury. You might get enraged. I have a feeling, yeah, it's getting higher with each scratch. So, what can we do now that we've unlocked another tier here? Um, we have a Lunar Blessing. Extend benefits from the Lunar Cycle. We have Night Vision. Explore more with Enhanced High Sight. Ooh. We have Natural Healing. <gasps> Recover from injuries more quickly. Wow. We have Pack Howl. Howl to the Pack to fulfill social needs. And then we have Curse Bearer. Turn other Sims into werewolves via a Cursed Bite. <gasps> Those are really good ones. We're going to do the natural healing. Dashiana already feels anything but normal. But with a bit of effort and focus, the strength of the werewolf blood in her body can be harnessed to recover from various fights, injuries, and all physical maladies much more quickly. So I think that would be really cool that she could just heal herself. So we're going to go ahead and choose that one. But it looks like she's probably going to have a bit of fury going on. Wolfgang's notice. Yeah, okay. We should probably cool it a little bit. So let's return to normal. Cool it for a little bit. Now that we scratched some furniture up, we got 7 out of 25. And yeah, we're just going to relax. Try to breathe. And uh, stop tearing stuff up so we are going to go over here and wash up instead of lick ourselves because she is already feeling the fury right now and we need to calm down a little bit we have already like oh my goodness we have already like got our fury way too high we need to like lower it okay she wants to talk to lou she's like oh lou is sitting here i really want to chat with him why don't you become best friends with lou why not 
that's pretty cool that tonight, third quarter moon, you can get increased relationship gain and loss. I think what I should take a werewolf Shipping. nap or something. It's like I'm she's just going to lay down. I like how she could do this without being in her werewolf form. So hopefully this will actually help her, you know? I don't want her to, like, unwillingly change into a werewolf right now. He's just, like, standing there just waiting on her to wake up. Hey, Rory. Do you want to, like... Werewolf spar? You want to spar? I don't want to fight. I want to spar. It's like... Okay, yeah, she's like, yeah, I need to practice, and I think you doing this and helping me would help me practice. It's like, oh. So Hey, she has to wait a little longer before she can attempt that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, all right. Let's uh, return to normal. The beast is starting to beckon her. Beastie boogie? What's a beastie boogie? What's beastie boogie? <laughs> is that dancing? Oh, that's cute. They changed dancing to beastie boogie. That's funny. So you're telling me she can eat this raw meat without being in her werewolf form? Oh boy. <laughs> Maliday. Hunter stride from going on a hunt. Dashiana's feeling great. Hunting comes as naturally as breathing for werewolves. Sweet. Okay, well, she's about to transform. Let's go ahead and uh, mark territory. I think this is going to do it. Her hanging outside, this is really going to do it. I have a feeling she's about to become freaking changed. There she goes. Here it comes. I feel like it's coming. Yep, there it is. She's about to rampage. She's like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it lose over here like, well, there she goes. She's no longer Dashiana. She's gone. <laughs> and they disappear too. They're like, well, oh wait, no, there he is. He's, oh, he's following, uh... The mail carrier here. Oh, here you go. Here you go. It's <sighs> like, okay, I'm back and my fury bar is low again. Oh my gosh. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was to contain myself. <laughs> But with that being said, I think I'm going to stop this part right here. And thank you all so much for watching. And I really hope you like this part. And I will see you in the next part of The Sims 4 Werewolves. Everybody have a great day.